Hey guys, this is Adrian here from itouchapps.net and today we're taking a look at Kick the Buddy. This is the second Kick Edition. This is a fun little physics ragdoll based game as you can see here. You have this buddy, this doll here who talks and says some funny remarks every now and then. And your objective throughout the game is to, you can beat him up, throw him around, toss him around, use objects to kind of mess around with him and to the ultimate point where he can die uh, as a, a doll but then come back to life thereafter. So you have the basic things where you can kind of pick him up, toss him around, and damage him. You can spin him around and, again, just let him bounce all the way around as he gets beat up. And you can do other things like use a camera here so that you can take pictures of him, save him to uh, your photo shoot and stuff like that. But you can also do a couple other things. So first off, you can hold and drag elements. It says here from the notepad, so it's just telling you a little bit about the game here. You can click on the ribbon here. This is the buddy notepad. You have a couple options you can do here. You can add stuff into the game to use against the uh, buddy here. Um, you can add decor. So you can see here using money that you get throughout the game, you can um, buy some different wallpapers in the background here under your profile. You can kind of style the buddy himself. So you can use like a photo of yourself to use as his face or from the photo album if that's what you want to do. You can change his wardrobe. If you want to get some different shirts for him, for example, I have 225 bucks here. So I can buy a shirt like, for example, the one that says, I kind of like this one right here. So I tap it and it changes his outfit there, as you can see there. And you also have a bank where you can use uh, to buy through in-app purchases. So you can see here you can buy gold, buy bucks uh, through certain in-app purchases here in order to get um, certain money to be used to buy which is stuff like firearms objects explosives machines foods liquids animals all this crazy stuff so you can use a whole bunch of stuff here so there's a whole bunch of items here but a lot of it has to get through in-app purchases for example i can get some of these but a lot of this requires gold which you don't have you kind of gather throughout the game as you do achievements and stuff um you can also get the like, animals for money here so you can buy an animal like a shark or a wasp for example and if I click on them, I can implement them in the game and have them attack the buddy here, as you can see there. And they'll drag them around and throw them about, as you can see here, and do crazy stuff. So it is kind of humorous, as you can see here. You can click on the trash to restock uh, him and pull him back out. And you can also use other stuff, like I said, like firearms, for example, like a Beretta, and have it shoot. But as you can see here, I noticed that the effects, some effects have bugs. For example, with the Beretta, it doesn't really show any gun. You just kind of have this line of sight here that shoots while other items actually show. Like for example, if I pick a mace, I can swing it around just using my finger here and damage the buddy here. As you can see, I can throw stuff at him and he gets damaged to the point until he dies in this case. Now the buddy's dead, as you can see there. And, he's, and he will uh, eventually just respawn and come back to life after a while here so I can toss him around and wait for him and eventually he will respawn <laughs> and as you can see and come back to life now you can also use a slot machine so every uh, day you get a free spin you get more spins if you want to buy them and this allows you to get more items gold cash stuff like that so I can pull the lever here to go ahead and have a spin and you can see here I got something that so says you've won a card for a unique element and I can collect all amazing cards to get an element for free here so in this case I unlocked the death ray so now I can go back and actually use that so if I can find it here let's see under I'm guessing that's under power of gods let's see did I get it there maybe not maybe it's under somewhere else we can go through looking here you have a whole bunch of stuff here miscellaneous um, ch -ch -ch -ch, winter games death ray where's the death ray at looks like I can't find it but it's I'm guessing it's under here somewhere maybe under firearms death ray death ray so you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff here you can use, for example, like grenades also. You can throw all of these, for example, to toss at him, to damage him. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff, but as you can see here, that's the basic premise of the game. Now, pros, it has tons of cool things in it. It has a lot of cool miscellaneous toys. I really like the ragdoll physics. They really work really nicely. Basic controls, tap, drag, toss around, all that good stuff. The slot machine's a nice addition to kind of get, you know, your chance at winning some more stuff. There's achievements to get cash and stuff like that. But overall, it's not, you know, it's a fun little game. But to be honest, there's a lot of in-app purchases. There's a lot of marketing and advertising for a lot of their stuff. And a lot of the stuff here you can only get through purchases. And a lot of the stuff here that the cool stuff really is uh, costs a lot. It really does cost a lot and it's hard to get. So 
in my opinion, it's not really worth you know the money, and, and, and there's a whole bunch of extra money they kind of throw on at you to kind of keep on purchasing stuff through their app. So it's really littered with in-app purchases and makes you buy into their system. It has some cool effects, and it's a fun little game to mess around with. But overall, um, again, it's something I think that you don't really need to pick up through all the in-app purchases. If you want to try it out, pick it up, have some fun with it with the basic stuff. Definitely worth trying. But again, uh, in my opinion, it's a not buy. So again, you can find this in the app store. This is Kick the Buddy Second Kick.